right, Donna, we've got some questions for you. Hi, Mr. Trump, you've done great things in your life, and I just wonder, how do I, as an average person, begin? Like, well, first of all, never think of yourself as average. You yeah. started off with the wrong question, <laughs> because you're not average. You've got a lot going. I see you're smart. I see you're very beautiful. What we were able to do today was allow people to see his heart for themselves and to make up their own minds about him. And they, 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 they find out that he's not the person that the media has depicted him to be. Are you endorsing this is endorsing? I support Donald Trump, and everybody knows, everybody knows that. 100%. Families I know friends. Donald forever. I, I like Donald very Wonderful much. guy. I mean, he is. And, and he's miscast by the media. You know that. He's oh, a, I like Donald. He's got an enormous ego, but he's a good guy. He's got a big heart, by the way. He's very good to people. He's very kind to people. He's people been, don't know that. You just have to get that word average out of your vocabulary, and you have to tell yourself that you're great, and you have to believe it. If you can say it and don't believe it, it doesn't matter. A kid that worked in the back right I said well, hey how is Donald Trump this is before he ran this is months ago he goes unbelievable he would come back stay come back to the kitchen and give hundred dollars to the staff yeah he would give these guys quietly nobody Amazing. would know about Amazing. that the fact is I go down the streets of New York and the people that really like me are the taxi drivers and the workers etc etc also his children I know his son Eric I've met him a couple of times mm -hmm. he's a great kid they're great they're great they're great kids yeah. you know the apple doesn't fall far from the tree do you like him? Yeah, I mean, he's real. That's all we need. I like his ideas. Those are real letters. Those are not corporate letters. Those are not letters from These Exxon. These are handwritten. Those are not letters yeah. from uh, General Motors. Those are letters from people. You have to have heart. You have to take care of women's health issues. You have to take care of poor people that don't have, that they're never going to have a shot. And you have to take care of African-American youth who have never been in a worse position than they are right now. This sounds like political presidential talk to me and I know people have talked to you about whether or not you want to run would you would you ever I just probably wouldn't do it Oprah I probably wouldn't but I do get tired of seeing what's happening with this country and if it got so bad I would never want to rule it out totally I think Donald Trump underneath it all isn't just a business guy I think he loves America I really do I think he cares this country has such potential I love the country I think we can make it better than ever before we have to unleash it people have lost their spirit Donald Trump represents truth, logic, and common sense. His incentive and his self-interest is tied to the well-being of the country that he's supposed to represent. They love me, I love them. And I'll tell you something, if I get the nomination, I'll win the Latino vote. I will win it, because I'm going to create jobs. I'm Hispanic and I vote for Mr. Trump. We vote for Mr. Trump! Get behind the candidate, Mr. Donald Trump, that's going to do something for you. That's a lot of things that he said is true. Wow. The Mexican on border. And you're now. Hispanic and you're saying that. Yeah, Are I'm you Hispanic. sure? <laughs> wow. I know what Donald Trump is doing is representing the absolute heartbreak and anger and frustration at a government gone mad. I guess I just wanted to find out if there was one thing that you wanted people to remember about Donald Trump. What is it? Never, ever give up. The power of positive thinking, and I think that's very much in Donald's makeup. If I become president, I couldn't care less about my company. I want to use that same up here, whatever it may be, to make America rich again and to make America great again. Ladies and gentlemen, I am officially running for President of the United States and we are going to make our country great again. Do not underestimate the power of Donald Trump or you will be scratching your head wondering how did he get the Republican nomination. And we will see the best debate in history. Hillary Rodham Clinton, Donald J. Trump. We are here to stay. Donald Trump all the way. Donald Trump has came up with some very strict immigration laws that would guarantee work in the African-American community. I hope he gets through with his intentions about building the wall. Well, I just want to let everybody know that not all Latinos are, are blind. He knows what money is, where it comes from, and how to make more of it 
rather than redistributing other people's in exchange for their vote. And the intensity with Trump is like nothing I've seen since I was a little kid and Reagan was running. And they were saying, this is America's last shot. If we don't get it right this time, we're not going to have a country left, folks. We're not going to have a country. Are we seriously trying to figure out whether or not Donald Trump would make a good president? The man has major, major skills that he can offer. This country right now owes $19 trillion, and they need somebody like me to straighten out that mess. Honestly, I really think voters and Americans are looking at this guy saying, it's refreshing to hear somebody not be a wuss, not be a politician and really say what they think. These aren't dumb people. These are American patriots and they want this country turned around. I don't want nuance, I want bold colors, red, white and blue. America, I have seen in the last several decades, absolutely fray and decline. When I saw those guys on the boats, on their knees, I mean, that's such a picture about America that I haven't seen ever before. Democrats, not one or two, but many are voting for Donald Trump, as well as, the, as, as Republicans. I've seen this all over the place. So I think there's a big, big movement happening, and i got to say that, uh, you know, we need him. You know, this is a movement, folks. This is not like even maybe about me. I don't want it to be about me. This is about common sense. It's about doing the right thing. The silent majority is back, and we're going to take the country back. I have a big heart, I'm going to take care of people, I'm going to make sure that this country comes first. We don't come first, we don't come ten. We take care of everyone else but our own, and that's going to change. We're going to become rich again, we're going to become safe again, and we're going to become strong again. Nothing is wrong with us. We don't have to like illegal aliens. We don't have to. We're Americans, we want Americans first. Why can't we be first? And in the Middle East, I guess we've spent five trillion dollars. We could have rebuilt our bridges, our tunnels, our roads, our hospitals, our airports. We could have rebuilt our country. We could have rebuilt our military. We could have taken care of Social Security. We could have taken care of everything. We are going to win so much. We're going to have win after win after win. You people are going to get sick and tired of winning. You're going to say, please. victory please stop we don't want any more wins and i'm gonna say to you we're gonna win i don't care what you say we're gonna make our country